It's a miracle. Oh my gosh. You stay? Wow. <gasps> Precious. Good. Stay. Do a circle around here. Very Circles nice. are hard. Wow. Good. You are so good. You stay. Very really pretty. You know how many dogs can't do that? Most of them can't do that. Good. You stay. This is scary. It's supposed to be scary. Good. Stay. Wow. <gasps> I'm proud of you. I am. You like one? I'm proud of you. That's good. You stay. So good, honey. Yes. What most people don't realize is that this is working on her reactivity. For sure. It's the same mechanics that's going to be at play when anything comes into the environment. It just so happens that when a dog comes into the environment, especially at home, even not at home though, uh, she's reactive to it. So what are we asking her to do? Be passive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Be passive and let me deal with it. So what you see is her look at the truck, disengage with it, and look at me. That's the mechanics that we're looking for. We want her to do that with everything, including dogs, squirrels, anything. So if I'm leader, I get that privilege. But in order to become the leader, I have to correct her whenever she's trying to lead. And that makes her a follower and me a leader, right? That's the dynamic in our relationship. So when she sees something she wants to check out, she assumes I do too, and she allows me. So you'll see her look at it, stop herself, look at me, get her good girl. And essentially, she's learning her job when it comes to being out in the real world. It's just to listen. When I tell you to stay, just watch things go by. Trust me that they're not going to hurt you or whatever the case is. Um, and look, you can see her doing it. She feels comfortable. Very good. Pedal. Break. Yeah, oh girly. Pedal. That would. Um